It is well, three different uh, recipes, three very yeah. different flavor profiles. Yeah. What do you want to so take what I, next? What I wanted to do was to, to take you down the, the sherry cask path. Liquid amber. Yeah. So the the Equinox was the 46% ABV. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's our gateway drug. So it's, you know, this is <laughs> a lowest amber lane that you'll really enjoy. This one is 48%, so it's also within reach of what people who perhaps aren't used to cast drink whiskey, something that they would be able to relate to very easily. Um, so this one has been aged in both the Pera and in PX, so both Australian style of sherry and Spanish style of sherry casks and brought together beautifully in this expression. You mentioned the sherry cask before mm. um, and about the effect of sherry when we were younger. It was, yeah. I worked in a hotel in North Queensland and it's how they used to derail the, um, the old ladies' uh, bingo. They said they'd make a trifle with a whole lot of overproof sherry and by the end of it, all the old pensioners were completely maggoted. <laughs> so the chef, the chef would basically pour in a couple of bottles of, of sherry into the trifle and at the end yeah. of it, the old ears are just... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's um, it's interesting when I'm engaging with um, consumers, the reactions to the sherry cask style. So most people love it. Um, there's a higher proportion of women uh, who really enjoy that sherry cask style. Um, men, uh, there's not a, a sharp split, but I would say that there's a higher percentage of men who really resonate with a bourbon flavour profile. Um, and often I find the sherry cask is, is the one that a lot of the women will, will really go for. And this one in particular at the whiskey shows is always extremely popular. So it's got that just beautiful Christmas pudding note um, on the nose. It's just very inviting. Um, a lot of berries come through. Um, some of the leather and tobacco that you would associate with a sherry cask style. Darker chocolate. Um, and, you know, some of those sultanas and raisins and things that we've talked about before. Oh, I know. it, Kranikan. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Whack this into, whack this into Kranikan. <clears throat> because it's a nice full whiskey that would, um, the fattiness of the cream and all that. And the right yeah. breeze. Yeah. So the, um, <clears throat> we're unapologetic foodies in my house. Um Mm. We're basically headness. It's the reason why I got into reviewing alcohol. As a case of the three kids in lockdown, I had to either start reviewing it and drinking it, or otherwise, you know, there's just so many holes you can dig in the backyard. Indeed, indeed. So anyway, this this is our sort of um, our core sherry cask style, forty eight percent liquid amber. We have uh, as you drive into the property at Amber Lane, there is a stand of liquid amber trees running on either side of the driveway. It's quite a beautiful view. A lot of the imagery we have on our website reflects the, the driveway. And um, this is the colour of the leaves in autumn, this lovely, this lovely dark colour. Okay. Um, it's always we, nice to speaking to the, the location of where we make the whiskey. We have liquid ambers in Melbourne. Um, mm. And the but, um, liquid amber is actually a... Um, Tautology, because the botanical name Stracifluva actually means liquid amber. Uh huh. I I, I did botany once. I spent twelve months um, studying botany or horticulture back in the day. Okay. That's that's this is the fourth whiskey in, and you produced four very different whiskies. Yeah. I mean, if you were to blind test this and tell me that they were from four different companies, I'd be agreeing with you. Mm. Um, from the one mm. location, from the one little little thing up the end of a valley that... Yep. What sort of yep. magic have you got going on there, man? Oh, well, it's got to do with um, dancing under the moon, of course, uh, in various states of undress. Uh, no, it's... Uh, well, there well, is an idea what... You know, the reason why Jesus could ever be born in Australia, don't you? And why is that? Like, we're going to find three wise men and a virgin. Yeah. So the dancing on the moon, it's a what does yeah. it every time. 
I, I wish yeah. I could do more of it. Yeah. Um, now, I don't know. I think I ended up sending you about 10 samples, and I don't know that we're going to sensibly get through all of them um, today. We could probably push over to another episode, but um, I yeah. thought.